Now, our last type of catalysis that I just want to mention is the metal ion catalysis, which involves a metal ion that is bound to the enzyme. Now, again, there is uh, also another name for this called electrostatic catalysis, and you can use amino acids that have charges on them. The main type of electrostatic um, catalysis is using a metal ion and using a metal in general. That's where it, it gets its name. These interactions generally are to help, again, um, facilitate the binding of two reactants by stabilizing them in place, um, helping to stabilize and fit what is going to be that uh, intermediate to help the reaction progress faster. Usually it's going to stabilize molecules that have negative charges on them, by utilizing a metal that has a positive charge on it. So generally, most of the metal ions within um, enzymes are positively charged and will stabilize molecules with negative charges. They also can help participate in oxidation type reactions. And so they'll be utilizing their charge state to help in the oxidation or reduction of a particular molecule. Here's an example of a type of metal ion catalysis, or again, called electrostatic catalysis in which we're utilizing a zinc ion, positively charged zinc ion. You can see it is coordinating two molecules through their oxygen. These oxygens have a at least partial negative charge that they can coordinate through the zinc through. But you can see the zinc is not actually Again, participating in the reaction, it's just helping to coordinate the two molecules near each other, and it facilitates this bond formation between um, the water that is here, the glycine that is here, and our molecule here, this type of um, peptide molecule here, or just molecule that is being utilized here, to eventually form as you can see, a, a new bond between the oxygen that was in a water molecule and the carbon on our substrate. So again, you can see we have a glutamate here, which is helping to be a proton acceptor. So there is some acid-base catalysis happening. There's a water molecule here. And there is our main um, substrate here. So this is our substrate. This is some amino acid in the enzyme. That is a glutamate. And we have water. So normally, water can participate in this reaction with our substrate alone. But through the coordination of zinc, and through the um, acid-base catalysis from our glutamate, we're able to quicken the reaction in which we have taken our molecule and added this OH bond to the carbon. So this is the formation of an OH bond onto our carbon here that has been catalyzed by both a metal ion and by a um, glutamate as well, utilizing acid-base catalysis. Okay, so that's it for the types of catalysis in review. Again, just be able to recognize these types of catalyses, um, understand generally what they're doing. And I want you to look at the video, just going through the mechanism of chymotrypsin to kind of understand its steps but not necessarily needing to memorize the whole reaction scheme of chymotrypsin. Um, again, I just want you to be able to understand types of catalysis that happen in enzymes and how they are important generally um, for the processes in biological organisms.